As Donald Trump waits for Republicans like House Speaker Paul Ryan to decide whether to support him, he says he doesn't need their endorsements. It would be better if it were unified. I think it would be, uh, there would be something good about it, but I don't think it actually has to be unified. Thursday, he'll meet with Ryan, who said last week he wasn't ready to support Trump. Democrats also remain divided. At a rally in New Jersey today, Bernie Sanders vowed to keep campaigning and argued he's won nearly half the pledged delegates. But Hillary Clinton has all but secured the nomination. CBS News estimates she has 93% of the delegates needed to win. Many Republican Party leaders in Minnesota are saying they cannot endorse Donald Trump. Some people are worried this divide could not only cost them the presidency, but congressional seats and even state and local races. Here's Esme Murphy in tonight's Talking Points. Like Republicans across the country, those in Minnesota are struggling with how to deal with the fact that Donald Trump is the last Republican candidate standing and will almost certainly be the party's nominee. Former Governor Tim Pawlenty said last week he does not agree with everything Trump stands for, but that he will support him. But former Minnesota Senator Norm Coleman said this about Trump, that he is, quote, a bigot, a misogynist, a fraud, and a bully, and that he could never vote for him. Privately, some Republican leaders fear voters will be so turned off by Trump that it will affect congressional and state legislative races. Publicly, they say some level of unity can be achieved. Chris Fields, the deputy chair of the Minnesota Republican Party, was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. I think that at the end of the day, the large part of the Republican Party is going to come together. Look, Donald Trump got more votes than anybody in Republican primary history. About a million more than Mitt Romney is what he's going to end up with. And Mitt Romney had 93 percent of Republicans. I think Donald Trump will be uh, right there, if not a little bit better. And Republicans are also taking comfort from the fact that for the past year, Donald Trump has proved all the naysayers wrong and that Hillary Clinton in a number of state primaries and caucuses, including the Minnesota caucuses, blew huge leads in polls only to come in second to Bernie Sanders. You can watch WCCO Sunday morning with Esme Murphy and Mike Augustinak every Sunday at 6 a.m. and 10.30 a.m.